Okay, so my 55 inch LG TV is acting up. Video problems turns on just fine, but then after three or five minutes, lots of video white dots and other flashy distortion. Have another video on that if you want to check it out. And I saw a YouTube video that shows uh, if you take out the main board and put it in the oven, that it will fix anything and everything with many, many positive comments. So I'm going to give it a shot. This is my model right there. And just take out all the little tiny screws around the perimeter and on the back. And the main board is under here. Make sure to get a center screw there and the ones on the edge if you have a similar model. And I'm going to take the cover off and let's take a peek at the main board. Oh, also, uh, before I pull the cover off, I try to pull that plug and it was a bit difficult. I'm just going to leave it on and the frame will come off around it. Okay, let's pull off the cover here. And there we go, the cover is off. Right there in the center is the power supply board. And then the main board over here. Main board is the board with all the video connections uh, there and uh, there. And HDMI and USB over here. So apparently the CPU is under that heatsink there with the solder ball method similar to a PlayStation 3 which had a lot of issues. They don't use pins, they use solder balls I, I believe uh, but things just get loose. I try to find this motherboard they retail for about a hundred but everyone everywhere is sold out so my last ditch effort I will try to see if I can do the oven method with this, and if it works, great, and if not, uh, time to go TV shopping. Alright, so I'm going to pull that out. Solder melts at uh, 370 from the videos uh, that I saw, and so we're going to give it a shot. Okay, got the video excuse me, the uh, main board with all the video disconnected. And now time to heat it in the oven at 385 for 10 minutes and then let it cool in the oven uh, slowly and then reinstall. Many people were complaining about it releases terrible smells. So I'm going to try using a toaster oven outside. If you have one, you may want to try that. Let's see how it works. Uh, and you want to place this on cardboard and many people from the main YouTube video I saw said place aluminum foil on top. Uh, I will give that a shot. Okay. And time to put this concoction in the toaster oven. So I'm going to do a layer of foil underneath the cardboard, act as a heat thermal shield underneath, motherboard, main board I should say, and then a layer foil on top for another thermal shield. Let's uh, pop it in the oven. And there we go, it's in, and going to shut this, and the uh, video I saw recommends 10 minutes. So here we are after 12 minutes in the toaster oven outside, then shutting the temperature off completely outside and letting it cool in the toaster oven for 20 minutes. And now I'm going to let it sit here for, oh, another good 10 or 20 minutes. Just let it cool down nicely, not seeing anything that's damaged. So after this, we'll put it back in, reassemble, and test, and let's see where we go from there. All right, success. We are back. Um, after letting it cool and doing just a uh, 
partial reassemble here just for testing and leaving the TV on for about uh, 45 minutes we are good normally by now it would have flashed and died a couple times you can see that on my other short video uh, so this method works if you like this video then please go to this guy's video and give him a like for the suggestion you can see that many views and many many virtually all of them say this process works it probably lasts about uh, three six nine months at most but it'll buy you some time or you might get lucky this is when he published it and he's stated he's had to do this process uh, two or three times already but uh, it works so uh, Avrim Fishkind, thank you for the tip. And just a very fast afterthought, many tiny little screws when you disassemble all this. You might want to take a photo or two when you disassemble so you know where to put them all back.